Hello guys and welcome back to Electrofags YouTube channel with myself James Benzie aka The Birdie Benzie. So we've had a little bit of time off, we've had a look at some of the new stuff that YouTube are doing, we've had a new look at some other items and basically just getting an inventory ready for you guys so we can start reviewing products again. So what we're going to do today is we're going to have a look at the steep range of liquids. Also I thought we might as well test the Van Der Pulse Squonk Box mod. In the same one. So we're going to kill two birds with one stone on this one. So we've got Steep's Quick Shaked, the Pink Fizz, Ghoster, Orange Aid, Forest Mist, Sparkle and Walter White. So we'll go through all of those as well. Say in a minute guys. Okay guys, so we're just going to have a, a quick gander at the Pulp BF 80 Watt box mod from the Tony B Project and Vandy Vape. So obviously you can see I've already got my unit out, but we'll have a quick look what's in the box for you. So when you open the box, this is where your mod is situated and your USB charger lead. So very simple little box this one. So inside we have your little user manual there. You have your little certified product or your little tank attachment, which I think is a, a proper quality little idea there from Vandy Vape. Top marks for that one and your warranty card and information. So without further ado, let's just dig into the mod itself because we're going to keep this one nice and simple. Now as you guys know from the ones that have met me, I'm not into squonking at all. Um, and this one hasn't really changed my mind, if I'm being completely honest, that I don't like the feature of the squonk bottle. I just don't think it's comfortable enough for me. But again, that just shows how subjective the vape industry is at the moment. I just don't like that. The original Vanny Vape BF box, the mechanical version with just the thin line here, was absolutely beautiful. I think they could have just toned this down a little bit, but there is mechanics behind there. There is obviously the new Vandy chip in there as well, which I have to say I'm not disappointed with. The only flaw that I found with this as a personal point is the bypass mode on this particular one. Everything else I've run it in has run perfect. And I must say as well, it handles itself majorly well for a simple 18650. That's what I'm running at the moment. I'm running an energy vat, and I've also got one of the steep liquids in my Squonk bottle. So that's just a quick look at this. Uh, both panels, as you can see, do remove and Tony B's signatures also on there for you as well. Just a little bit of a link as well. Check out the Dead Rabbit all in match in purple. I'm gonna jump back over to the juice with you guys, so I'll see you in a second. So guys, welcome back. So what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna start the juice review. So obviously I'm tasting these steep twinge today, and I'm gonna kick it off with one that I've currently got in my box mod, which is Quick Shake, which is a vanilla cookie milkshake with a creamy strawberry. Now Something that I've noticed with this liquid, as well as it being majorly hard to put down, because uh, I've been testing this one for a couple of days, um, I don't get the creamy strawberry as much as I want it to. Now, I have vapes it on other kits as well, and it's something that I just find it lacks just that little bit of strawberry. If that was upped a little bit, we'd be perfect. But apart from that, this is one of the most addictive liquids that I've tried in a very, very long time especially for a cake-based liquid, a lot of them are too sweet or they become too sickly. This is, obviously, I filled this one up, so without further ado, I'll just do a little bit of a test for you and we'll go through that one. Mm. Obviously, all these are 70-30 mixes from the guys at Steeped. I do have one, however, which is kind of annoying, which I'm gonna move on to next because I didn't have any short fills left. So I have got the Walter White Extra, which is effectively known as Heisenberg, but obviously that's copyrighted. So we have Walter White Extra, which, let me just, I can't see it on the back there, is Blue Raspberry Bubblegum Aniseed. So it is exactly what it says on the tin. It's like every other Heisenberg but with a little extra kick. So without further ado, let's just give this a drip. Let's see what's going on. 
This is one of our staff members' favourites, Chris. So if you're ever in our Ellesmere port store, he's the one to ask about this liquid. He loves this stuff. Myself, I'm not a big lover of Heisenberg's, if I'm being completely honest. So I will be as completely honest in this review as I can do. The blue raspberry is really nice, but for me, the licorice is just a tad too strong, and it kind of overpowers everything else. That, for me, if, again, I'm, I'm going to be completely honest, it's not one of my favourite liquids at all. I wouldn't pick that up and purchase it, that's from a personal standpoint, just because I don't like that mixture in a liquid. It's the same as watermelon and mango. I just, I, for some reason, I just can't rate them. So, as from what I've tasted of Heisenberg's, that is definitely up there with the nicest versions of Heisenberg's. I do know that a lot of customers swear by the Steep Towards White Extra, and as I said, Chris, one of our members of staff in the Ellesmere Port Store, absolutely loves the Water White Extra. I think a couple of other members of staff really like that one compared to some of the other Heisenberg's. For me, it just doesn't sit well. I don't know why. I can't put a, a, a definitive finger on it. But for me, it's it's not a flavour that I'd go out and choose. But having said that, it's definitely worth popping in uh, and having a taste of it if you do like your Heisenberg flavours. So, moving on, I'm going to go to Orange Aid, which I don't think I need to tell you what Orange Aid is because I think the label's pretty self-explanatory on that one. too much on. Obviously not all squonkers should be used in this manner but considering I'm trying my hardest to double up this effort it makes sense for me to use this as a dripper. So that's the orange aid. Now I've tried this before. There's one liquid and people that come into our store in Ellesmere Port will know me and my orange flavours. I love orange and I love apple. I think if they're done correctly, they're sublime in taste and orange steeps. I've nailed it with orange aid. There's one that I always compare every orange to and that's a Matt Cool range. They do one called Orange Dollar. Now that one to me, a long time ago, set the benchmark for orange flavours and it set it at a good solid nine. Steeped compete with it every single step of the way. So that's how highly I regard that, not just because I'm being biased, because it's one of our liquids. As again, I told you, I'm going to be completely honest. That is, without a doubt, one of the nicest orange days on the market. And, here's the kicker, for an orange that does not destroy coils. Um, it may do in certain tanks at certain wattages, but it won't on drippers or anything like that. So, I'm going to move on, and I think I'm going to choose... The pink fizz to go next, which is apples, grapes, and some cherry. Oh no, sorry, I'm reading that one completely wrong. That's an old school classic of black orange, a green and purple chewy sweets. There you go, that just shows how tired I am after all of this and getting the research down. Again, I did want this to seem forced to you guys because I have seen quite a few reviews that are looking for flavour profiles that are behind them and try and cheat. I want to show you that we are as honest as we can be. Yes, I could have prepped. Yes, I could have forward thought and wrote all this down and practised and practised and practised, but then it becomes manufactured. We're not a manufactured company. We believe that the honest approach is the best approach. And we also believe that it goes how it goes. If I make a mistake, we make a mistake. You learn from it, you move on. So that's how we run, it's just to point that one out. Like I say, in the first video we was doing all this and showing you where links were and to, to be perfectly honest with you, I haven't found out how to do that yet. I'm still learning as it goes along. As some of you know, I'm not professional at this kind of thing. I do this for the company because the company want me to do it. I am brash, I am who I am. So those of you who know me, follow me anyway. So anyway, pink fizz. So like we said, then it's a mixture of different ones and 
the way that we describe this when a customer comes in is it is like chew it. It's like getting a pack of chew it. So let's just have a, a quick go just so you can. I really wish we had smaller vision for these. It, it literally tastes like the chew it. I don't know how else to explain it, but it is a proper sweet liquid. It's not one that I could vape permanently. I, I definitely wouldn't put it in a squonk bottle. Just because it's too sweet for a long lasting day vape. But that's my thought on that one. Swiftly moving on because I'm running out of time because I jibber jabber. Next up is Costa, which is a lemon and limes all combined into one and then mixed in with some ice cream. So this needs to set a good benchmark because there are some fantastic lemon limes out there and this one definitely needs to compete with those. Um, obviously I have tested all these liquids daily so I, ex I expect certain flavours. That lemon on the inhale is without a doubt one of the nicest lemons I think on the market. The only thing that lets that down for me is that lime and ice cream exhale. I don't think a lime and ice cream is the way to go. I think if they'd have changed the notes in that liquid and done it the opposite way around and made lime the predominant flavour, I reckon that I'd have been a world class liquid without a shadow of a doubt. Um, but swiftly moving on, as I said, because I'm running out of time, we are now on Sparkle, which is a raspberry and fizzy lemonade. So, it is what it is. So, oh, that's a nice drip. Nice, healthy amount of that. God, I love my dead rabbit. And it's in purple as well, it just happens to be the best flavor. There you go guys, that face says it all. If you like raspberry lemonade, holy shebang, that is the one you want to go for. That without a shadow of a doubt is possibly the nicest lemonade flavour I've ever tried. Mixed in with that hint of raspberry as well just tops it off perfectly. So guys, some poor effort on the camera work there from Chris who's behind the camera giggling at me now. Um, he didn't give me the correct warning, so he can stand there and get all he wants. So, what we have now is the Forest Mist, and as you'll notice, I have changed back to my Pulux 25 kit, which I reviewed in an earlier video, which I still can't put down. And in that video, I was using this liquid as well, which, again, it's back in this one. So, we've already kind of discussed this flavour before, which is... A delicious red berry black grapes combined with eucalyptus, aniseed and menthol, which I'm, I'm not going to over talk it, it gets a 10 out of 10 daily from me because I absolutely love the bloody liquid and I love it in this kit as well, I can't fault them both. Uh, and I don't know if you remember but from that last video I'm still on the same coil which if I remember correctly was filmed about four and a half weeks ago. So. That's how good that is in conjunction with this kit. It doesn't destroy coils because I'm still on the same one and it still tastes brand new. Yeah, Kristen, so you're behind there. So you can have a, a little go at that one while I finish off. So guys, if you click that subscribe link below and click up above for those notifications so you know when our videos go live. We will be rolling out more and more videos as we go along. If you do want to purchase anything online, the website is www.electrofag.co.uk and I look forward to seeing you guys soon. Remember, vape on, vape strong and keep it cloudy.